boy, bad 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 boy. You mad, bro? <laughs> Halo 4 versus Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Which one of these first person shooters is the best? Well, after much deliberation and after taking a look at the information so far released, Black Ops 2 is way better than Halo 4. Halo 4 freaking stinks, man. Let me check this out. Halo 4 is an upcoming FPS video game and the eighth installment in the Halo franchise being developed for the Xbox 360. So first of all, it's an Xbox exclusive. So it's not even going to be released for the PlayStation console. It's not going to be released for PS3. See, that's one thing that Activision has done well and Halo can't do um, is that it's a freaking exclusive. Activision with Call of Duty, it's not an exclusive. You know, it's available for all the systems. PS3, Nintendo Wii, Xbox 360. It's available for everything. That's why Call of Duty is so awesome. That's why it's great. It's, it's a freaking... Everybody can play it. It's available for everyone. Halo 4 freaking sucks, man. It's going to be only a Microsoft exclusive. Okay, uh, Halo 4 is intended to be the first of a new trilogy of Halo series games named the Reclaimer Trilogy? Are you serious? The first of a new trilogy? How can you have a new trilogy when Halo 4 is the fourth installment? What kind of stupidity is this? Is it me or Microsoft doesn't know how to count? Uh, let me see, there's Halo 1, Halo 2, and then Halo 3, and then all the other countless freaking expansion or additional like spin-offs like Reach and ODST uh, I mean give me a break here uh, whereas the previous Halo games were developed by Bungie uh, Halo 4 will be developed by 343 Industries oh there you go there's another one it's a brand it's a it's a brand new developer it's not even by Bungie Bungie were the ones who invented Halo they created it yes it's an Xbox exclusive slash Microsoft but it's being developed by Bungie Bungie is a it's a separate developer they were just acquired by Microsoft they were acquired so it's not Microsoft itself that's developing it it's not a homegrown developing team you know at least like Sony has SEA they actually develop their own games they actually have their own company Nintendo is a developer they actually make games stinky ass Microsoft garbage crappy Microsoft doesn't even make their own games the game begins four years after the ending of Halo 3 and marks the return of Master Chief as the main protagonist in Al Cortana oh freaking Al Cortana why is Al Cortana still around I mean you would have thought that Master Chief would have ditched that freaking cyber hussy like years ago completely useless um they should have a new character halo 4 was officially announced on june 2011 at e3 2011 its development was revealed at the same time as halo combat evolved anniversary the game is set for worldwide release on november 6 2012 i don't know man this is pretty much garbage i mean halo 4 is gonna stink look at this halo 4 marks the return of john 117 master chief obviously it's a it's supposed to have co-opted forerunner technology end of the war with the covenant story has been designed for a more part of a three game arc aiming for a more complete connectivity between all of their future media uh, this just doesn't look exciting it looks pretty bad I mean, if you want to take a look at a really good FPS, if you want a good first-person shooter, you're going to have to get freaking Black Ops 2. Now, let's take a look at Black Ops 2. Look at this. Legendary game. This is already a Game of the Year candidate. It's a sequel to the 2000 game Call of Duty Black Ops. It's going to have 
characters and settings, uh, strike force missions. Oh, and by the way, this game has zombies. Halo don't have that. Halo doesn't have freaking zombies in their games. No. They, they have weird exploding monster things, like in the first Halo, you shoot at them and they exploded. But they're not real zombies here, you know, it's not realistic. If you want realistic zombies, you gotta play Treyarch, Activision, Call of Duty experience. Um, so I mean, this is legendary, look at this. It's gonna be available for Microsoft Windows, PS3, Xbox 360, the Wii U, the Wii U is getting Black Ops 2. Woo! It's not even close. Black Ops 2 is the better game. Activision Blizzard CEO Rob Robert Kotick stated on 2011 that the new COD game was in development. It's going to be the newest installment. It will feature meaningful innovation for the series. Woo! Isn't that awesome? See? COD does have innovation. They, they have more innovative stuff. They keep progressing year after year, annual, Black Ops 2 is going to be the best first person shooter, way better than crappy Halo, don't even have to mention Halo 4 man, Halo 4 is going to stink, uh, did you see that preview on E3, they were in the freaking jungle, we've seen that a million times, wasn't that in the original Halo, where you're battling the same I saw enemies with shields, and it was the same exact shield enemies in, in the first Halo. What the heck? The same exact weapons, same exact robots. Halo 4 sucks, man. On April 2012, Activision redesigned Call of Duty.com to announce that the game will be revealed on May 2012 during the NBA playoffs. The art featured on the site matches perfectly um, that supposed retail leak received by Kotaku. And it's going to be a 21st century Cold War setting. The game may eventually become available for the Wii U. Obviously, it's going to be available right now. Uh, the pre-order rates of the game set records three times higher than for the pre-orders of the first Black Ops. Several critics have noted the trailer's similarities to Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots. Okay, but that's not a bad thing. Because uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 was actually, uh, you know, it's one of the better games for the PS3. Um, but it's obviously Black Ops 2 is going to be way better. It's more superior. Um, better characters, better missions, better gameplay. Uh, there's going to be some kind of cyber attack that cripples the Chinese stock exchange, there's going to be unmanned vehicles, we've never seen that before, brand new technology, uh, robotic, cyber warfare, man I can't wait to play Black Ops 2. Alright, so we all know the better game, Black Ops 2 over Halo 4, so that's it for this episode of Fanboy Reviews, and until next time, keep fanboying.